welcome back welcome back how is everyone today that is rhetorical if you're on YouTube because you can't tell me unless you want to type it in the comments and if so you know do it I got the milk so we are going to be doing the mozzarella tonight you do need a couple of quick things um, to make sure that you do it correctly one of them is a thermometer. Another is a container that is non-reactive. This is my Dutch oven. It is a ceramic on the inside, as you can see. It's non-reactive, so it works. I have a gallon of milk in here already. This is citric acid. It's what makes like salty candy salty. It's really yummy and just like super fucking sour kind of thing. So it's just like sour in crystal form essentially this is animal rennet you can get vegetarian rennet as well um this comes i think from like the ins like the inside lining of an animal stomach if memory serves but i had to actually i could not find this anywhere in south carolina where i live so I got this from Murray's Cheese Making Shop when I was on a cheese tour in Greenwich Village in New York City back in September. So, yes, I'm waiting on my computer to stop being a fucking asshole because, like, I know pretty much how to do it. I have been following this one recipe pretty much. Like bitch. But it's not, it's not acting right. Like I need to, if this was anything else I could do it just go. But it's a very precise uh, temperature and then a precise time, then a precise amount of mixture and then a precise time. I have to, I remember, I know at some point it has to be stirred for 30 seconds, like constantly. So, yeah, mozzarella is real fucking hands on, y'all. Found the fucking recipe. Like, you can apparently use vinegar and stuff as well to make cheese. I saw a TikTok recently with this, um, little abuela made a uh, queso fresca, a queso fresco, out of like whole milk and vinegar. And I was like, shit, girl, what's up? So. Oh, none of these look fucking familiar. It's pissing me off. But yes, when it comes to stuff like this that's been done, mm -hmm. 100,000 fucking times I have to cheat like this is not in any way shape or form my fucking recipe like no <laughs> like it absolutely is not like I do not have a recipe for making cheese I just have done it before and I know how to do it so this looks very similar to what I had last time, so we're gonna do it. Does this have a line on it? Half a cup, yes. Measuring cup. A fourth cup of water. This is the stuff that makes it coagulate. That actually says coagulates milk, store in the refrigerator. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven's usually a good amount. Okay, and how much citric acid do I need? One and a half teaspoons. And how much water? Half cup. That's too much. That's too much. That's too much. Fuck you. Okay. 
Okay, I did turn the heat on this just to get it going because this is cold ass fucking milk. Okay, a teaspoon and a half is half a tablespoon. This is math. So, good little cheat that way. Okay, let's say it's not telling me when to put the fucking citric acid in. But I just misread it. But yeah, if you like Sour Patch Kids and things like that, it's because of this. What's in this little bottle? This is straight up just sour. I need to get this up to 90 degrees. Yes. I doubt it's even at like 70 at this point. No, that's still fucking, that's still cold. So that's still got a while. You are going to be very, very fucking tempted to turn it on high, let it go for a minute or two. Do not do that. You run the risk of scorching your milk and then it will not make the cheese, period. You will notice that once you add your citric acid and you give it a good stir, after a minute or two, you will start seeing a bunch of really small curds. Like, if you can see that on my thumb right there, that's curds already happening from the citric acid. What you want, of course, 100%, because that the curdles is what you know makes the cheese. But yeah. Okay. What temperature are we at? I'm going to drink this heat up a little bit. Just on medium. No. Look, it's currently at 60 degrees. There you go. I told y'all this does take a while. So. Let me get on here. I need a new fucking laptop, but I can't, I can't see buying one. I can't justify buying a laptop right now. Fuck is that? It's big in my, big in my pot. You can use this to even stir it. <laughs> really, really shittily. Okay, now you're down to 56 degrees. Are you fucking on? Okay. Son of a bitch, is it even fucking on? Jesus. So what are we doing jack shit? Okay. You stay there. You keep being an asshole. It's gonna take like five minutes. Because I am using a cast iron pot. It does take longer. So, like I'm almost at 61 degrees now. Let me move it around. Okay, 61. Oh, look, 59. Oh, look, 58. 57. Mm. I don't know why y'all wanted to fucking see this. But y'all asked for this. So, fuck off. Okay, it's finally opening and loading and going. So, uh. so I was watching um, Bon Appetit earlier on YouTube, one of my favorite channels. Claire is Claire Saffitz has a show called Gourmet Makes and she's doing these um, gourmet pop tarts, which I'm actually really excited for. And the recipe looks fairly simple. I kind of want to try it, honestly.
the fuck are you trying to do? S activate my fucking iPod. What the hell? I don't know my fucking password. Like my Apple fucking password. It's been 14 years. That's not going to be it. Okay. I guess that was it. Shh, cool. It's cool now because as I'm stirring it, you can actually see a lot of really, really, really small curds. Like really starting to form. You can see them on the spoon and everything. And we are at almost 70 degrees. Yes, this does take a while. The cheese has to hit 90 degrees. And then I take it off, stir in the rennet mixture, which is just the rennet and water, which was the stuff that I had to go to 1,600 fucking miles away to get, which I could have just ordered it online, but I was there. So I can not fuck it. Stir that. Then like it has to sit for like 10 minutes. I cut into it to cut the curd. And then I go in... Put it back on the pot after stirring for like a, another minute or two. Cook it to another temperature, which is like 109 degrees. Stir. And then I start separating the curds from the whey in a colander and a bowl kind of deal. So, you know. Okay, here we go. Now it's up. I can see myself. Hey Pearl, if you're still watching, I don't fucking know anymore. Like this shit's hard. <sighs> what temperature are we at over here? 75? Yeah, this is not a quick process. I'm stirring and it's going lower. But that's fine. You don't want any like hot or cold spots, you want a consistent temperature. God, it's fucking, ugh. Okay, I'm gonna crank the heat. <laughs> I know it's fucking said not to do this. Ugh, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I'm just getting fucking impatient. So. Yeah, I think this one actually says, sir, counterclockwise or some bullshit. Remove milk from heat and stir in the rennet in a figure eight motion for 30 seconds. Stir counterclockwise for 30 seconds. That doesn't... Is this a spell? Like, I'm just making cheese. Like, is, is this a spell? I don't have my apron. Hold on that one. I've got my apron. <sighs> Okay, we're at 80. Hell yeah, we're getting there. And as this heats up more, it'll get to 90 a lot faster just because I tend to pull it when it gets to about 89 or 88 and a half or so because I know that the heat of the, the cast iron is gonna hold the heat from the, from the uh, burner. So, I don't know why it has to go to these certain temperatures. I never bothered to look it up. I just know I love watching my cheese be made. It's just so cool. Again, if you're using a different pot, like a stainless steel pot, or like, I think aluminum works better. It will heat up a lot faster. Aluminum is an amazing conductor of heat. And I think electricity as well. Because <clears throat> it's so light. Cast iron is an amazing heat conductor, but it takes a while for it to heat up. So, yeah. I'm gonna stir this shit like figure eight and counterclockwise because apparently I'm. This is a potion, like we're we're doing a spell. Is this what I need to be muttering at the end of this? No, apparently not. Okay. Okay. 
and we're at 87 and a half. Almost there. Thank you. Come on. We've got two tenths of a degree to go. One tenth. Do not be a dick. I'm going to punch you so fucking hard. I'm going to punch milk. It will not go. One, two, Ninety. Fuck you. Oh, this is pissing me off. Remove milk from heat. Stir in rennet mixture. A figure eight motion. I can turn my up. Step off now. Actually, that right in there. Drop, drop, drop. Figure eight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Okay, now I'm going to set this over here. I'm going to put the lid on it. I'm going to get all this shit out of the way. There's a little milk spillage back here, so I'm just going to do that. And now it has to sit for about 10 to 15 minutes because the curd has to form. It can form in as quickly as five. It can take as long as a half an hour. Uh, my experience is usually a good curd after about 15 minutes or so. In the meantime, I guess we can get started on dinner. Alfredo is actually something that cooks very quickly. Um, there's not a whole lot to it, in all fairness. One of those things that happens like in the blink of an eye kind of thing, so you kind of got to be careful. Okay. Cook my chicken first. Just, I got chicken size here. I need to get some more olive oil. I don't like using this stuff. This is my good, good stuff. These are residual heat from this burner, right? Uh, you know what? Fuck. I'm just gonna wash my hands. Three little pieces in here. This is kind of like a pick your protein part of the Alfredo. You can leave it out if you want. Chicken Alfredo seems to be the most, you know, popular one. That's what I'm doing. So.
What is my baby saying? Hey, Morgan. Okay. That's cool. He just told me he loved me. Okay. Hey Google, set a timer for 12 minutes. Okay, 12 minutes. Starting now. Get that timer going at least, so we can kind of keep an eye on the cheese. If it sits for a minute or two longer, then like the time it takes to, to set up, it's fine. I wouldn't give it like overnight or anything, but I would say like a minute or two isn't really going to affect much. Now I could be a thousand percent wrong on that because there are ours and cheese mongers out there who will throw out an entire fucking 50 gallon batch because it went one degree over where it's supposed to. But I don't have time for that shit. <laughs> like I need my shit. So. Oh, also Moe's um, Southwest Girl here in Columbia, uh, the Sand Hills location. If you follow them on Facebook, they're actually sending a um, they said, if you like this, like and comment on this post, and we'll send you a coupon for a free burrito. And I did it, and they sent it. And so, yeah, that's always fun. Okay. That's what, that's what we're going to do in the sauce here. ingredients to um, Alfredo right there. It's butter and heavy cream and parmesan. Get that, get that ready to go. And the timer's going, don't worry about that. I haven't tried that Kesa Fresco thing I saw on some on Twitter, on Tumblr, Twitter, TikTok. Tell us fucking cheese. Where's Chicken, I'm doing real simple, just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, nothing fucking fancy to it. We need a new. So I can get this going. We're doing the uh, blueberry galette tonight as well. So I didn't mention that in the um, video or the title or anything. Because I've already done a couple of them. Uh, just a real simple, easy dessert that we both really like. You just want to saute the chicken off on both sides, let it chill, do this fucking thing. Then this is gonna go on the back burner. So we can do this thing. You can tell how the cutting board out? <laughs> Oh, 
Let me rinse that out real quick. Water. Pop this on the back back here on medium high and let it bubble away for the next 20 30 minutes. Flip this over again. We'll flip that like one more time in like two or three minutes. The fucking fly in my kitchen is pissing me off. Someone's gotta go on the fucking list. We're gonna go to the restaurant. Fucking fly for her. So, heavy cream. Parmesan. And this is my basil compound butter, which I'm gonna think is actually that, that perfect for this fucking dish. Just about two more minutes there. Fuck you. You got a water? Yeah, you got He was looking at me kind of like forlorn and shit. And I'm like, you, what, what? You're over there at your water bowl. Do you need water? No, you gotta. You're fucking good. I lost my chicken. Hey Google, how's the timer? T minus four minutes and thirty-eight seconds. Okay, we got four and a half minutes until that's ready. Set you right in there. Out of that bowl later, that's why use it now. Okay. Another quick rinse. Okay. I'm going to cook down the heavy cream Put about two cups in here. Of a cup. That's actually fucking almost perfect. So, hell yeah. When you need this one, even better. Okay. This needs to cook down. I'm just gonna let it sit there and do its fucking thing. We ain't gonna talk to it. We ain't gonna bother it. We ain't gonna deal with nobody. Just not do it, not, not do it, but it's not. Essentially, when it gets down to about half, we're going to go ahead. Are you fucking on? God damn. Put the heat faster, Jesus. 
I don't think my stove's working properly. Like, it's just, I don't, I'm not, I just don't think it is. Put this cooked down by half so I get the big ass pan and give it some surface area so it can like fry the fuck off. And then we'll start shredding the parmesan in there. Add the rest of this heavy cream. And we'll finish it off with some of our basil compound butter, which has the salt. Uh, was that the pepper? No. Ooh, it's pepper in it. it. Has the salt, the roasted garlic, and the basil in it. So that's 90% of our flavor, right? Well, this is most like 40% of the flavor, 40% of the flavor, and then the heavy cream gives some flavor. So, yeah. Real easy. It's no big deal. Hey Google, how's the timer? T minus one minute and 28 seconds. Okay, that's looking, that's looking nice and solid. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this full time. But yeah, that's gonna be good. down but you don't want it to boil if it boils it scorches you can fucking boil and I encourage you to do it I actually want to try this recipe one day with them um, heavy cream <clears throat> This, I've always used whole milk because it has a higher content of milk fat in it, which like, help, helps make the cheese. But I really want to try this shit with heavy cream one day. See how it turns out. Yeah. Just waiting on the timer at this point. Yeah, this is not. Like, everybody wanted to see this video, but this is not a interesting video. Stop. Now, if you notice that your curds haven't set, and you're gonna know if they set with the thing I'm trick I'm about to show you, put it in the back, leave it fucking alone. Just don't. Just fucking don't. Just leave it the hell alone. Essentially, take you a knife. This is my bread knife. I um, know what I'm doing though, so cut into it and see if it separates. If the knife comes up clean, pretty clean. You did it right. I have watched God hours upon hours of cheese making videos and instructionals and all that shit just to figure out how to fucking do this. You want to cut a grid formation across the top. I'm going to turn the heat off on that right now just because I need to give this more attention over here. So, where were we? Just cut that line. An offset spatula works great for this. 
I do not have one because I can't justify myself buying one. Even for like <clears throat> the very, very rare times I make cheese or do a, um, like do a cake or something. Comes in handy then. But yeah, this is cooking down, looking good. Let me give you a stir back here too, just for the hell of it. There we go. Okay. I think I reheat this now. Vertically. Okay. Turn over medium heat. Stirring gently. Now, it says try not to break the curds. You are going to break the curds. You're going to destroy the curds. You're going to macerate, like, macerate them. There ain't going to be shit left. But then... After a minute or two, you're going to notice that they're starting to come together. Like counterclockwise. Five minutes to get to get up 20 degrees and it's jumping up about two tenths of a degree every couple of seconds at this point so we're going to turn this down yeah essentially what I have is a giant rock like it looks gross it doesn't even smell that great in all fairness Although I'm watching myself in the video in the back and I am glitching like a motherfucker right now and I'm loving it. I'm here for it. I'm into it. I don't know what the hell's happening. this yet but oh well here we are <sighs> so interesting I did this for the night like 70 fucking people showed up immediately there's a big clump right there This is the shittiest part of this. You have to stand here and stir for five minutes. Because essentially you're pushing... You're pushing the curds around. You're encouraging the separation of the curds and whey. The whey is exactly what you're thinking. W-H-E-Y. It is the main ingredient in, like, most fucking protein powders and things like that. In fact, a lot of those places went into business when they went to cheesemakers, like, yo, give us your runoff. And the cheesemakers were like, shit, we just dump it out back. Go nuts. So, but then because protein powders and everything got so popular, they had to actually start finding substitutes for whey because America can't make enough cheese. A costly process. So there's a lot of like like whey substitutes and things like that that are easier made. Or a lot of companies started making their own damn cheese, selling the cheese under a different name, and then selling the whey under you know protein powder plus whatever the fuck it's called, or you know whatever the name may be. But yeah, you can see the they're getting a little bit more defined now. So 
is gonna be the longest fucking video like I've ever done. I need to turn it up some more. Because <laughs> this is taking a sweet goddamn time. Trying to make sure this stirs. So he's trying to form a film. Cream forms a film on top. And I don't like it. But yeah. Just leaving it alone like that. You can see all the um, a lot of the curds are trying to sink. The heavier curds will sink. And the lighter ones will float up. Let me just... Jesus Christ. This is fucking smidgen of quarter okay this thing is almost almost going down now because you know that's what makes sense 98.6 this is a human I'm stirring perfect temperature of a human being well, now we're at 99 this human's got problems not a lot of problems just a little bit of problems Uh, we're at a hundred. This human has issues. This human needs to see a doctor. Or at least a little see the medicine. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. 105. Uh, 100.5, excuse me. Did not jump that quickly. 101. Maybe time to go see a doctor. see this. This is so fucking boring. <laughs> 104. Okay, you should definitely at least be on your way to the emergency room by now. Five. We're reaching Corona time. I love how this. If you look at the heavy cream in the in the um, measuring cup, there, it's beautiful white. This has got a, like like a yellow hue to it. Like when you boil it down and get rid of the water, you will start seeing like a yellow hue to it. And it looks kind of cool. Okay, almost there. 106. And it's 45 fucking minutes. One oh eight. There's not really a whole lot of space for me to move things to at this point. So Turn that shit off. <clears throat> and 109. See how thick that is? Like it's actually sticking to the thermometer. So it's kind of really fucking cool. So you make some room over here. Show y'all what I'm gonna do. colander in there so 
goes like this. I want to save the way. fucking pot. Trying to scrape all the shit out. Okay. Some of it is going to slip through back into the way. That's fine. We're going to get that out in just a minute. Just want to give this just a minute to shake it from side to side kind of thing. Now, my curds have a lot of whey still left in them, so I'm trying to fold them over onto themselves. Use a little bit of, you know, pressure here so I can get Can you hear it steady dripping? Five dollars this fucking gallon of milk too. Here's what we have. This is not done. Like, ugh. It's not done. Like, nowhere near done. Okay. And here is the way. Take this. Pour it back into the pot. Put the pot back in the heat. Turn this shit on. Now this has got to get up to 185. Check that shit in a minute. <laughs> going to do now we're going to bring this up to a boil we're going to scoop it out into this put our cheese into this or what's going to be cheese it's almost there and then use the crazy hot way to start stretching it and getting it close to what we consider cheese so, yeah, almost an hour.
This is essentially going to have to boil 185. I think boiling is like, what, 170? This is the part that's gonna fucking burn. Like it's going to burn the shit out of my hands. <clears throat> and it does it every fucking time. I'm gonna have to start over on this. <laughs> Cause I'm not giving this the attention it needs. Oh my God. Let's go. So 127 now, and yeah, that's, I could comfortably wash my hands in this, but not for too long. You know, we had um, several people complain a while back, because one of the sinks at work was so, the water was coming out so fucking hot, nobody could stand it. Like, I don't know. How it got fixed, but like, yeah, we told one of the managers, like, go wash your hands. Like, fucking dare you. And he was like, fuck. And then we're like, yeah, fuck you. I mean, we have like one, two, three other fucking sinks. Plus, like, you know, the big sinks by dish and the prep sinks and the ones in both bathrooms. We used to have one by the bar until we had a certain manager come in and fuck it all up. Mr. O, I was a plumber in the Navy. <laughs> Fat bitch. I'm gonna come in and ask your fucking job back. <laughs> fucking idiot. This is looking good. This is looking good. <sighs> Fuck you, you're on high. Let's go. He's got 40 fucking degrees to go. I don't have a fucking day. Anymore. I'll just check the fucking temperature in a few minutes. So let me get over here. Okay. I turn you down. Call me tits. You're not boiling anymore. I said stop it, god damn it. So basically when I drag my spoon across the pan and it takes a minute for the, you know, heavy cream C to reform, that's when I know it's cooked down enough.
dog hears people outside so he's trying to come over. After each addition, about two ounces, two and a half of Parmesan, give good stir. I'm gonna salt this. Looks like it needs a little bit. And then back in with the rest of the heavy cream. We kind of made like a gluten-free bechamel. You think about it. <clears throat> okay, what temperature are you at now? Fuck, it's fucking boiling. Now for y'all get to watch me scream. I'm essentially like melting this. No, um, I, I will not do this today. So. I wonder what happens if I just put this whole fucking thing in there. Just for a minute. Do I have some fucking scoop it up? Yeah. I got my spider. <clears throat> so that gets really hot. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Essentially want to get it and just like fold it over itself. Gloves help, but I don't have gloves. Stir, 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 stir. 
You do not go in there that way. You go in that way. Thank you. Yeah, gloves definitely help. Just fold it over on itself. It's going to try to break apart on you. Try to go fuck itself. And you own it, and it will bend to your will. Well, that's a lot of my cooking. It's just me yelling at things until they bend to my will. I have noticed this. Like somebody pointed it out to me recently. Ah. Ah, fuck you. Put the compound butter in here. It's gonna give it a nice, nice taste. I'm just fucking covered in fucking everything tonight. God damn it. The more you work it, the more it like starts to come together and look a little bit more cohesive. See how it's like getting that stretch thing to it now? That's what you want. You want that stretch. But you gotta earn that stretch. Turn this down. Stir, stir, stir. You're almost done, actually. Preheat the oven for the galette and for the garlic bread. You see the back of a spoon helps sometimes. See when it's too fucking hot to touch. Yeah, the Alfredo's done. Pepper and seasoning. See if it needs any more cheese or not. But yeah, the Alfredo's done. I was trying to stick to my spider because it wants, it really wants to work. It really, really wants to. Do it in like chipping some balls. Smaller pieces, see if they'll be easier to work with. Fuck you. Fuck these. I find the right one. Okay. Yeah. Never actually tried this method of heating it in the way before. So we'll see. 
I mean, thought process is there. So. Doesn't appear to be losing liquid the way it should be. Like I don't think I don't think it's right. I think I'm about to go back to the way I know. Should you get for trying something fucking new? Yeah, this is just it's okay, we're gonna go. School right here. Well, old school meets new school because this shit's going in the microwave. Because I'm just like, I'm covered in tiny little curds at this point. Still on fucking line. I'm still doing this fucking video. And Jesus Christ. Hey Matt, if you're even still here. Okay. <sighs> this is looking better. This is what I'm fucking used to. This is essentially <laughs> what we're working with here. Uh, my hands are fucking pruny and wet. Pruny and like burning. Fuck you, Al. Fuck you, Al. Okay. Okay. Mozzarella cheese. Fuck. I took too goddamn long. Let's try this. 
This is knee salt. Perfect. Uh. Okay, I'm done. Oh, oh my god. Okay. I'm going to scoop some of the whey, about two cups, into this bowl. Let it come to temperature. Then I'm going to put it in another bowl with the, um, with the cheese. And put a lid on it and store that shit. Um... Alfredo's good. Need some pasta. I'm gonna toss it with some fucking pasta. And cut up this fucking chicken. We're gonna eat. I'm gonna Josh this home for all that shit. But ah, I'm gonna go smoke. Like, oh my god. Ah, my arm. <sighs>